Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you my recently acquired Manning Bowman 8 inch desk fan. I got this, I got this fan from my grandma about, well at the time of this video I got it last yesterday, but I'm not going to go into the full story and how I got it because it does have a very large backstory, but I'll end up saying the story whenever I get to clean this up in the next video, in the full review. But for now, I'll basically just show it. So, it's a Manning Bowman 8 inch desk fan made by McGraw Edison Company. Um, I think it has the model right here. Yeah, 085002. 115 volts, 60 cycles, 30 watts. What's neat about this, this fan, unlike most of all the fans of my collection, this fan spins counterclockwise. Which is kind of neat. It has four blades. But mainly this fan needs a lot of work. It needs to be cleaned. It's very dirty. The blade is severely off balance. Which I need to fix that. It still runs like it works great. I think it's the original cord but. Strangely enough it has no switch. Either it got replaced or. It's just the standard cord, and you just plug it in. But, just a little preview into the story. This was used at a tax firm in the 1950s. And, I'm guessing each person in the office had one, because, like, as my grandmother's last name, Benson, this was used in the office that she was in. So, I guess I'll go ahead and show it, since there basically isn't anything to show. I mean... Blades are severely bent. It does have oiling ports. And it has little breather holes for the motor. It, it does have the option to be hung on a wall. And it does have its original rubber feet. So it's in pretty decent condition and just needs work. And then it has your normal wing nut to adjust right here. No further ado, I guess I'll turn it on as a thing. Now, I'm just going to turn this on momentarily for only a moment because this is very loud and surprisingly for its age, it is. this is a very powerful fan for its size. Since it has no switch, I have put in an inline switch. You just plug it in, then you plug the switch into an outlet. It's just on and off, so here's on. Now it's gonna, like I said, it's gonna get really loud, so I'm gonna turn it on momentarily, then turn it off. So here we go. you could notice just now it was it vibrates so much to the fact that it slowly moves around so that blade is very very off balance and bent so that is going to be the main things i fix one of the main things i fix but until then i'm just gonna this is just a short review of it so please like comment subscribe and wait for the in-depth video and thanks for watching